Right, so I'm down at Exit Arena running track with Nat, and today we're gonna go through a power, explosive power yep. session. Basically, what we're gonna do in this vlog is two workouts. We're gonna do this one, which is the kind of early afternoon one, and then go into more like gym a power plyo. Yeah, like the you. power plyo gym um, routine in the afternoon. So we're down at Exeter Track, we're gonna be taking James through some hip mobility drills with the hurdles, some dynamic mobility as well. And then we're gonna get into some real good speed work, some good power for your golf swing and some jumps as well. So a little joint mobility warm up. So I want you to start with some neck exercises. Just look up and down, get your neck stretched out. Always work from head to toe, going down the body. It's just better for sequence and for organization as well. Excellent, yep, and then just look over your shoulders for me. Nine muscles stretched out. That's it, not too quick, nice and controlled. Yeah, that's good, that's nice. Uh, going to some shoulder shrugs for me. Just up and down. Excellent. Then I want you to just swing your arms across your chest like a crisscross motion. Just get your chest opened up, shoulders stretched out. Then I want you to go into a long arm swing with your arms alternating. Yeah, like you're running, but with a long swing, that's great. Yeah, some leg swings front to back. It's good, try and get a bit more range at the back, mate. Get your glute yeah. engaged, there you go. That's good. Now I want you to face the herd, um, fence and swing inwards to outwards. It's really gonna open your hips up. Yeah, that's great. That's it, control. It's good. Yep, yeah, next set of hip mobility drills, uh, what we call fire hydrant. So you're on your knees and you just open up the leg to about hip height. It's good, you can do it, can do it alternating. Yeah, that's good mate, nice and controlled. Get some range, end range through the hips, that's really good. Going to a donkey kick for me. Uh, excellent. With these, you don't want to push out too straight to keep some flexion in the uh, yeah. hamstring. That's good. Get your glutes warmed up, especially if we're gonna be sprinting posterior warmed up so we can get most power out of it in the shortest amount of time possible. And into some scorpion kicks. It's brilliant. Good rotation. Really freeing up the hips there. This is really good for hip mobility. Get some range as well through T-spine, thoracic spine. Go backwards from me now, mate, if you can. Nice and controlled, that's it. Right, it's into some hurdle mobility now for your hips. This is a forward so walk. Not the twist in forward walk over, yep. Keep the front leg straight. Another set of walkovers, but this time clear a new hurdle with each leg. That's good. Really pull that range of motion out of your hips, that's excellent. <laughs> This is just under, two up. Yeah? Yeah, sit back into your glutes a bit more for me, mate. That's much better. Better range of motion. You feel them hips getting a lot warmer now. The range of motion should be increasing. Just going to a nice march. Opposite arm, opposite leg. It's really good. And to get a bit technical for the old golf fitness, the power. This gets you used to moving limbs in sequence and applying force to the ground as well. A bit of dynamic preparation. It's called a line hop. Go back and forward. Keep bouncy, keep on the toes. That's good. Now go side to side for me. A little lateral way. That's good. This is a really good drill. Promotes vertical stiffness, which is great for increasing club head speed. Hear a lot of the TPI guys, a lot of the fitness trainers talk about improving vertical force and 
drills like this will help to really bring that out of your system. A nice high skip. That's great for vertical force. That's excellent, mate. See the straight line of the leg when he leaves the ground. It's good hip extension there. Yeah, that's excellent. It's really good drive back. That's it, good straight line at the back. Yeah, brilliant. Good, 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 good. So we've finished with our sprinting portion of the session on the track. Now we're gonna move into some jump work. Pretty similar to the box jumps that you do in the gym. We do some straight legged jumps on the stairs, keeping the ground contact as fast as possible. It's good for elasticity and muscle strength as well. So stuff like you driving off of the ground when you're swinging the club. So a little PAP work, post-activation potentiation. So what I want James to do is to fire upwards with the band like he's making a swing. It's good. It's good. Nice and powerful. And it's gonna trick your muscles into producing more force than usual. And you go straight into your swings. You can do this on the range. Or when you're warming up for golf. It's good. Number another one. Right, so that's session one done with Nat X Darina. That's decent. Um, right, I'm going to link his Instagram in the bio. Um, you're doing a bit of coaching as well, aren't you? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Up in London. Whereabouts? Uh, Ilford, Essex Way, East London. Okay, so if you're in that area and you can do golf specific stuff as well, I mean, Absolutely. all this stuff's obviously golf specific. Workout one done, we're going to go down to the gym in the evening. I've got a bit to do in the meantime for some power stuff. Forward to that. Let's do it. Right now we're on our second session. We're in the power phase of training. We're going to do a few bits in the gym, some trap bar work, some explosive jumps, and some rotational stuff as well. So the first exercise will be a trap bar squat jump. And the position of the handles is great because it allows us to actually increase the vertical force production. So this is great for swinging, especially improving your clubbing speed, where you're creating a lot of ground force, putting force into the ground and getting it back as well, and having that power go up through the chain. So with these, we do say three by five reps, yep, and we cool. reset at the top. So you start off nice and tall, hip hinge, and explode up. Yep. Make sure your toes are up in the air, nice and powerful from the ground up. Moving on from the trap bar squat jump, we do a counter movement jump and usually in athletics and different sports it's a good test for vertical jump and air time. So usually you'll be on a force mat, hands on the hips and it'll measure all the forces. But here we'll just do it freestyle. The idea of this is that after we've produced the power with the actual bar, there's no resistance now so our bodies kind of tricked into producing a lot of force in a short amount of time, which is the essence of increasing your clubbed speed. Big force, small time. Hands on hips, go into hip hinge, and then jump. Just remember to get your toes up in the air so that you recruit your calf muscle easier on the landing as well. Same rep scheme, three by five. So moving on, third exercise of our session, we're gonna do some single leg box jumps. I know we play golf on two legs, but it's good to perform unilateral exercises when you're on one leg at a time. Builds up strength of individual legs independent of each other, irons out any imbalances you've got, because everyone's got a side that's stronger or maybe cooperates better than the other. Yeah. And it's good for ankle stability as well. You know, there's a lot of forces 
going through our ankles when we swing. So this is just good to kind of reduce any injury risk and really free up the ankle rocker as well. So first we'll go forward, start off with the right leg. So we'll do five reps right leg. Five reps on the left. Make sure you're really swinging your arms to get that stability and that aid in propulsion. And then a little variation that I usually do myself is a little lateral jump. Like I said before, um, iron, iron and out imbalances, making sure that we're producing forces in the right directions. So I'll go five on one leg. On the, always on the outside, the inside is it's a bit tricky. Moving on in the progression of our session, we're going to be doing some drop jumps and we're going to break these up, vary them a bit. So when you're swinging, you're producing a lot of force into the ground. So as long as the surface is stable, you're always going to get a reaction force, a good ground reaction force. So with these, what we're going to do is jump off and hold the landing. That's going to get your body used to withstanding the collision. So it's called bracing and it's very important in golf. A lot of people do a lot of throws and rotation work and release the implement they're using and they're not really bracing for impact. When we're hitting the ball, when we're colliding with it, we should really be bracing for that impact. And by bracing and blocking, we transfer huge energy up from the ground, through the core, into your arms and eventually into the cupboard. So we'll go into a drop and hold. So don't want you diving off the box just step off a bit, like you're walking down the stairs, hold it into a gentle hip hinge. Then the progression on from that is drop, hold and explode. So with these we'll drop, hold the force, so you kill the momentum and then you have to produce more momentum to actually go into a vertical jump. So this gets you used to withstanding the force and then producing more force. Just like our vertical jumps with the trap bar and a counter movement jump, same motion, big push into the ground, hips, ex hips extend up. Then putting that all together, drop and explode. So with this, as soon as you hit the floor, it's just straight off. So the ground contact time is minimal. It's basically like you say you're landing on hot poles I don't want to get scolded, so all the forces that you put in, take straight out. Same kind of rep scheme, three or four reps. Doesn't matter what leg you lead off, as long as the landing is controlled, you straight back up. Progression from the drop jumps that we just did, now we're going to introduce a rotational component. So we're going to introduce a lateral standing long jump, which sounds a bit more complicated than it is. It's basically just face forward and you jump to the side. We do it both sides. Again, iron out the imbalances. If you're a left-hander, you're going to be used to doing this mo movement like myself. So when I do this, I challenge myself to kind of be equally as strong on both sides. Same premise, you jump, withstand the force of the landing and then get out of it as soon as you can. Right, so that's the end of the training day, training session down here at Unit 7. That was decent, mate. Really, yeah, some good work we got in there, yeah. Really enjoyed that. Um, so throughout the day, this is, if, you want to, if you're doing power stuff, obviously this is, it just works so well, combining this with the strength work, which I'm gonna go into in more detail as we go um, through these long drive specific videos, but I hope you got a lot of information from that. Very knowledgeable guy in this area, so, 
He's based in London, as I said earlier, if you're in the London area and want some golf specific training um, or just athletics coaching. Yeah, feel free to hit me up, pick my brain over any topic. There we go. Enjoy it. All I like talking shop about golf and fitness. So. <laughs> it's Sounds. been really fun, mate. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy yeah, that. Enjoy it, man. Yeah. Brilliant. Bye. See you soon, guys. Take care.